Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, and today we're working on making some trucks. What trucks, do you ask? Well, this truck right here. It is a 15-inch long truck for 7.5-inch gauge, or 7.25-inch gauge. They're mostly interchangeable. There's just a quarter-inch difference between the two, and um, there's enough play in most trucks to make up any difference. Uh, you just got to move the wheels in and out. But I digress. We're going to make this truck because I have a customer who needs a pair of these trucks. And I like the size of these trucks. The reason I like the size of these trucks is because they also fit my ES2500 locomotive that I build for people. And I have a lot of people asking for a four-axle locomotive. Well, this will allow me to have a four-axle locomotive in the same footprint as my two-axle locomotive. So today's video is sponsored by Alibre Design. Alibre.com, it is, as the headline says, effortless design meets affordable precision with Alibre. You can try it for free, or you take a look at their pricing, and the pricing is, well, you don't rent it. You buy it. Now, for me, that's that's just absolutely refreshing. It means I can pay for a license and design parts to my heart's content on that version for as long as the version works. So go to alibre.com and check out their software. Yes, it starts at $199, a one-time payment, or you can start a 30-day free trial just to see if you like it. Because, you know, why are you going to pay money for something if you don't know if you're going to like it, right? Well, there you go. So you can either do Design Expert or Atom 3D. Design Pro has um, is is kind of in between. And if you try Atom 3D on a 30-day 30 30 free trial, you kind of get the idea of what Design Pro and Design, and Design Expert will do. But... Design Expert is what we're going to be using today. And welcome to a Libre Design Expert. We're going to go into the Create New folder here. We'll create new button. There we go. We're going to create a new file. And we're going to move this over here. Move OBS Studio out of the way. And there we go. Now I can see my design over on the left-hand side of the screen, and I can design my part over on the right-hand side of the screen. All right, so let's start with the dimensions here. So like I said, it's a 15-inch beam on this truck, and so we have that 15-inch beam. It is 375 thousandths thick. I wrote on my notes 5 eighths inch wide. That's 5 eighths inch in the Z-axis. That's going to be our extrusion dimension. So we'll start by making a 15 inch bar on top of this. 15 inches by 0.375 inches. So we will start by activating a 2D sketch after I uh, selected the plane that I'm going to draw it on. And so we'll do 15 inches. There. We'll zoom out. Zoom back in because I went out too far. 0 0.375. There, there's my first two right there. Back to 15 inches. And we'll close it up at 375 right here. Goes real quick sometimes. So now we've got our next part. I'm going to make this whole assembly one part. It's it's an assembly of five pieces right now, and the uh, the pieces that stick down to hold the um, hold the journal boxes in um, those journal box. I think they're called stanchions. I don't remember exactly, but anyway, those are made of aluminum right now, and we're going to make the whole thing out of steel. We're going to have it all laser cut, and it's it's going to be a lot more sturdy than than uh, the trucks were originally. So we're also going to reduce the amount of parts in these trucks. So that's that's going to be a thing there. And we'll start with this part here. This is going to be one part, not an assembly of five pieces. 
So we've got to figure out the uh, the size of this. So we've got uh, 1.16 inches. And yes, I'm working in inches because that's that's what I have uh, measuring tools for. And that's uh, that's what we use here in the United States. And so, well, that's that's what I'm used to. If I were more used to metric, then I would probably be using metric, and I would probably have tools to do that with. But, well, we're in Imperial, so, well, anyway. So I've got to go down 2.225 inches from uh, the end of that. So 2.225, er, 2.225, right down to there. And come back, 0.675. And then I'm going to I'm going to zoom in here. So this piece is going to be a 90 degree right there. I'm going to just stop it right there. The that particular um, line. So I'll zoom in again here. I'm going to make another line down from here. And that's going to be three hundred thousandths. There. And then I'm going to make this line right here. That's just a placeholder line is what it is. So now we will extend this line here. And we'll trim this line here. I could probably do the same thing by using the intersect command, but uh, I didn't this time. There's, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And there's more than one way to do things in a Libre design. So now, let's see, we've got, uh, that's that's 300 thousandths right there from the, uh, from the bottom of that, that top bar. And I'm going to have to sweep this. I'm going to have to make a, a, uh, a an arc through here. So if I make a line from here to here, how long is that? 1.985. So 1.985, well we can call that 2 inches. So if we go with 4 inches, 4 inches diameter, oh, there we go, 2 inch radius, 4 inch diameter. And go here, Well, it needs to be actually twice that, like 8 inches diameter. Yeah, that's more like it. Yep, yeah, 8 inches in diameter. Alright, so, how are we going to make that fit? That's a good question. So we'll start with our, let's see, we'll start with the center line, we'll go out from the center, four inches, because that's half of eight. And that's about 4.008 out there, so we're going to be able to uh, do this, I think, there. Yep, there we go. Now we can just extend this line here down to that. And that'll be good enough. And then we can hit the mirror command after we finalize this. So we will uh, extend this line down. We'll trim this line and we'll trim this line. We'll trim this other line here and then we'll trim the circle. So now that's fully constrained there, you see, since it's turned red. I'll trim, we're going to trim that figure right there. Okay, Wait, we don't need to trim that figure yet, hang on. So we need to copy this and mirror it on the other end of the part. So we'll go to select, we'll select it, right there, and we will 
mirror. I'll make this big first so I can see what I'm doing. Mirror. Those figures. Yes. The mirror axis is... Oh, I didn't make my center line yet. So let's make a center line. There's a center line right there. It's only temporary, so that's okay. So we'll highlight that again. We will mirror that part, or those parts, along that center line. Nope. No, 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 no. Mirror axis. It's going to be that. There we go. See, now we have that mirrored. And now we can remove this line. Our mirror line. There. We'll probably put it back again to work with it some more. But right now it's out of the way. Actually, we're going to have to put it back immediately because, you know, I'm a little too uh, zealous sometimes with the delete button. So let's go back here and we're going to highlight that again. All right, now we're going to figure out the distance right there. That's 1.132 inches. And we're going to have to design a uh, journal box that will fit in that 1.132 inch slot. So we're going to have to mirror this by 1.132. 1.132 inches away. So we will just go to select. We'll make a line. Right here seems like a good idea. 1.132 inches. There. And we're going to have to do a center line because we're going to rotate this part on the center line. There. All right, now I'll go back to select, take that, mirror it on that axis right there. Okay. And now we have that part mirrored. And I can go in and trim away There. Trim that one as well. And over here, I've got to do the same thing. 1.132 inches. We'll make our center line right there. We'll trim that one now. Yeah, sure, why not? There. Now we'll select. Zoom in a little more. There. And now we'll mirror those parts on that axis. And there we go. We have a concentric truck. Yay! Or at least a concentric main beam. Let's trim this back. Now we can uh, take this and trim this like this. And we'll make this into one part instead of five pieces. There, that is that one main beam. And we're going to have this laser cut, so we'll get out of the sketch. We'll extrude this. We're not going to do it to 5 inches. We're going to do it to 5 eighths. 5 slash 8. Sketch 1. Select. 
And there we go, there's our first part. So yeah, that's our first part for uh, for these trucks. And that's going to be cut in steel, laser cut or water jet cut, whatever works. And I can send this part off to the water jet cutter. So I want to thank you for uh, watching today's video. The next video, we'll work on another part of these trucks, whether it be the journal boxes or the uh, uh, another another piece of the rigging, a spring beam or, or something like that. So uh, certainly stick around uh, for the next video, which is somewhere on the screen here. And I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget, if you want to... Uh, help support this channel in a more substantial way you can always like share subscribe uh, go to patreon.com slash millbrook railroad or go to millbrookrailroad.com and well order something um because i build stuff for people and that helps keep the channel going the channel helps the shop go and the shop helps the channel go kind of a what what uh the botanist might call a symbiotic relationship so Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.